What's poppin' guys? You're watching another episode of The Weekly Colonel. My special guest today is super cool. She was my first college roommate and she was a part of the Oklahoma Women's Gymnastics National Championship team in both 2016 and 2017. She's an academic first team All Big 12 recipient and she won the Oklahoma Women's Gymnastics Team Spirit Award twice in her career. She's also stupid smart and just graduated with a bachelor's degree in chemical biosciences. And not to mention, she's also incredibly strong and was known to be the glue that held our team together, but mostly me. Say hello to my best friend, Samantha Krause. Hello. <laughs> she does this. Mm -hmm. Look at how red her face is. All right, I blush easily. <laughs> it's hot. Am I hot? Question. Do you want to open the popcorn? Oh, yeah, let's open it. Okay. I come here for the food. Oh, I open it? Yeah. I have a lot of practice. <laughs> you just got. <laughs> Stop touching it. <laughs> That's not enough. Sam, I like to eat. Come on. Oh, so do you. Too. Food is my friend. <laughs> All right, I'll put. Um, there you go. You're killing me, Smalls. Okay, so Sam, you graduated with me last year and you've been going through the transition from athlete to non-athlete. I know that it hasn't been the easiest for the both of us, but what has been the hardest part for you? Honestly, a hard part was, I mean, doing gymnastics, we've done that our entire lives. Mm -hmm. I mean, you do gym and school and homework, but um, <laughs> just the hardest part was like not being a part of anything anymore, I think. And like your teammates are, I mean, they literally are your family, you're with them. 24 seven, they see you at your worst days and your best days. So not being a part of that is hard. Yeah. And I feel like too, I mean, it sounds dumb, but I felt less important when we first finished. Like Same. you're a part of something that's so much bigger than yourself, especially being a part of OU. I mean, athletics here is huge. So not being a part of that anymore, like kind of lost your identity a little bit. So that was tough. But and you don't realize how fast it goes. Yeah. When we started freshman year. Oh my gosh. We're like, we're not going to make it. No. And then it went by like that. So. Yeah. So going back on your career at Oklahoma, which wasn't like most people's, what was it like when you finally got to compete your bar routine for Oklahoma for the first time? Yeah. So in high school, my sophomore year, I tore my ACL and surgery failed twice. So I had three ACL surgeries before I got to OU. So coming in freshman year, that was a transition, um, but I competed for the first time at TWU. Um, I think Maggie was out, she had like tweaked her knee or something, but honestly competing there was less nerve wracking than like for KJ in the gym. Cause I feel like, you know, when you compete out That's there, different. Like, like once you like are going, once you start, it's like, you just do what you know how to do. But obviously I was nervous just cause like it's for my team and it makes a difference, but. Yeah, I mean, that was great. And I actually stuck my dismount, which I always favored my knee because, you know, it was weak or whatever. So sticking that was great. And like, I look back at pictures and people are like jumping in the background. So yeah, it was, it was an special. exciting moment for everyone, not it just was, you. Because yeah. we've seen how hard you worked and yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. Something I'll never forget. So, so you think that you were under more pressure in front of KJ. Yes. <laughs> than actual judges. I feel like though too, like, cause when you're in the gym competing, like you're earning a spot. True. And I was more nervous to earn a spot than actually to be there. I, I was like that my freshman year. Yeah. Cause I feel like you're like fighting so hard and like you want the spot more than anything. You're competing more against yourself. Yourself, yeah. Yeah. Cause like for a gym, like you know, like you know what you're capable of, you know you can hit for the team. Mm -hmm. I mean anything can happen, but like it's the fact that like you want to prove to people that you can do it. True. So I feel like that was more nerve-wracking. I can agree with that, actually. Yeah. So Sam actually quit in the middle of... <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. She quit in the middle of our freshman year, right after preseason, which is the hardest part in nice. college gymnastics because you're doing a bunch of conditioning, waking up early, and you're having to juggle that with class and everything. Anyway, so she quit right after that, and then two days later, she decided <laughs> that she was going to rejoin the team. So Sam, what was going through your mind uh, when you quit? And then what made you realize that you wanted to be back with the program mm -hmm. and your teammates? Yeah. So like I said, freshman year, I was coming off my third ACL surgery. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even tell Natalie, like she's my roommate, like and I told her everything. 
And like I got to gym that day and I had just been like so down and like gym was hard and like and like with stuff starting like with lineups I wasn't in that and like that was upsetting to me and like and when you come from club like you're in club you're one of your best people there yeah and then you come to college and it's all the best people yeah in OU so it was like that was hard too and so I like went to KJ that day and I was like I don't think I can do it anymore I was like my knee I just don't think I have it in me and we had our Christmas party like a few days later and afterward KJ knows she just knows things and she can read body language and so at the end of the Christmas party she was like Sam how are you and I was like actually I was like I really miss it I want to come back and she was like you need two to days later yeah I'm really impulsive I don't know I don't know but so I didn't want to do that like and KJ knew she knew it's what I wanted to do it's just like I had like those roadblocks and mental roadblocks really it but, was just, it was a quick decision and yeah. you didn't really think it through. Mm -hmm. It was just an impulsive thing. Yeah. And like, I didn't think about the long run and I just already like, right when I like quit or whatever, I already felt disconnected from like y'all. And mm -hmm. I was like, these are my best friends. Like we're going to go through this together. I want to go through this together. I mean, like I said, they became my family away from home. And I mean, the bonds you create are more than just like friendships. Oh yeah. It's not, a, it's not only about the gymnastics. It's oh, about gosh, the teammates yeah. and the opportunity and just being a part of something. Yeah. So yeah. So I'm really happy I unquit. Yeah. It worked out. It did work it out. It worked out. Yeah. What's your favorite memory from Oklahoma? I mean, obviously our first win at nationals. We were sophomores and like I said, we had just lost last season. So it was a big redemption year. And I remember we like started vault. It was like, we didn't stick a lot. We went to bars, we're, just do we're doing better. Um, Beam was great and we had a buy and KJ like danced in the locker room. That was the best. I hadn't started like being emotional or anything. And Natalie did her floor team <laughs> and I lost it. I started balling and our coach Tom was like, Natalie, you're the only one that's gone. Everyone else still has to go. And I was like, I don't know, I just feel it. It was, it was like a feeling. You can't even describe it. Mm -hmm. And like, if you weren't, like that, and that team right there, like you, if you weren't a part of that, you can't describe it to anyone no. else. Blood, sweat, and tears. Uh, literally. Like I said at the beginning, Sam was the glue that held our team together, especially senior year. Um, she didn't end her career exactly how she wanted to, but somehow she decided that she was going to turn something so negative into something really positive and stay with the team, which... Honestly, she could have chosen to just um, disconnect herself from the whole thing, but instead she really became a very essential part of last year's team. So I just want you to take us through that and your senior year and some things you learned and how you really got yourself to keep going and be an essential part of the team. Senior year, like, I don't know, I had a different mentality going into it, and I was like, this is my last year, make the most of it, the sport that you love. So, like, in the fall, we, like, you know, start making lineups, and I was in the bar lineup, and I was starter, and that was kind of, like, their it was plan. so good. So, one day on beam, um, we, we have, like, mats, and it's, like, you can go on a hard landing or a soft landing, and there's, like, a resi underneath one for, like, a softer landing. And I was like, no, like, if I want to have a chance to ever go on beam, you were a senior. Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna land on the hard landing. Landed and kind of like fell to the ground. And it's hard to like remember my exact feelings in that moment, but like I just knew that, like when you feel that pop and that same feeling, you know it's not good. And so she came over, Jen came over, and I was like, I don't know, my knee just popped. And I was like, I don't know, like it just didn't feel right. But that day in the gym was like every, I've never felt like so much support behind me. When it happened, I was on the elliptical yeah. and everyone, right as it happened, just like their eyes went straight to Sam and everyone just immediately started crying. We had no idea what had happened, but um, I kind of just knew it wasn't good just based on like her feeling because you've been through it so much yeah. that you know at this yeah. point. And, and the surgery is not easy. Rehab's not easy. Obviously having Jen and like OU like made it way better, but having the girls and they actually made a video for me so That made me ball. Yeah, and like Natalie talked in it AJ Steph um, Bri and Nico just about like that whole thing, but but in that moment I was like, you know, I'm a senior and like since I hadn't competed much before I knew like how valuable every part of the team was whether you were competing or you were cheering or helping set up stuff on vault or anything and so I was like I'm gonna keep doing that and 
I was like, I can give advice. I can be there for the freshmen. We had five freshmen. And I was like, I'm going to do everything I can because... Yeah, and you know that it's not easy because you've been through it. Yeah. Like, this was your senior year. So you were experienced and yeah. you knew what they were having to deal with and you wanted to be there to support them through it. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like, if I can be there in that way, then that's enough. And, and honestly, that's really important because... Uh, when you go through season sometimes like it affects you mentally and so you just kind of need someone to go to and talk to and Sam was really that person for almost everybody including myself and she had been that for me since my freshman year and it wouldn't have been the same if she hadn't been there and like been all in so I know that uh, I really appreciate her staying dialed in even though I know how hard it must have been and I know that the team does as well so so her senior year I had a knee injury so like she had to have a knee injury yeah so we could rehab together yeah about like two weeks after Sam hurt her knee <laughs> Sam gets a call that I hurt my knee I heard she hurt her knee and then KJ called me that next week and was like Nat will have to have surgery she's like I wanted to tell you because she's like I know you're dealing with your injury but she's like Nat's gonna need you and like you're gonna be there for each other she literally called me. She didn't call me. She <laughs> called Sam. And then she called me. So then I called Sam. Thankfully, like, I was able to come back. And so, um, I really used Sam as my motivation because I knew that she couldn't come back. And, like, that was really tough on me. And, um, I knew that I needed to work my butt off and kind of use that to push myself, yeah. uh, to get back out there and, Go through rehab because it's not easy yeah, i had so, so many breakdowns and sam was awesome through it because she had been through it so many Important. times yeah I and knew. so um but she was of course there for me like through it all and really helped me get back on my feet and supported me until we went to nationals and yeah. until it was all over all right so now we're gonna lighten up the mood in here with some pop questions because it's getting kind of foggy you ready <sighs> yes are you sure What's your favorite Netflix show? Oh gosh, Friends. <laughs> Importantly, what flavor of popcorn represents you? Uh, oh, each other. <laughs> because it's a classic, like me. How much money would it take for you to give up trail mix? Oh God. I'm cheap, so like a million dollars. <laughs> I love trail mix. Are you kidding me? What's your biggest fear? Dying alone. <laughs> <laughs> If you could go one place in the world, where would it be? Australia. Oh, nice. You finally got it. I'm proud of I you. I'm ready. No, buddy. What is something that nobody knows about Samantha Krause? Gosh. I can touch my nose to my tongue. <laughs> and I squint when I smile. I Everyone think they all know that. that. I know. What's your go-to catchphrase? Oh, my God. Here, I'll throw it again. You got it. Nice. You're doing nice. great, sweetie. Aww. Yeah. Do you have any hidden talents? <laughs> Catching popcorn. <laughs> that was a horrible throw. <laughs> One more. That was my eyeball! Okay. <laughs> this is what I deal with. This is why I've caught like two. I believe you back in class. There you go. Okay. Um, yeah, hidden talent. So. For those who know me, I'm like a really good dancer. Yeah. I'll give you guys a demonstration of my dance skills. All right. You're gonna do a little of the head butt. <laughs> then we're gonna bring it back. I just, but yeah, I mean, I just, am, I've always been natural. <laughs> and I have a lot of rhythm. My dream is to be a Dallas Cowboy dancer, so. Oh, okay. This, I think this is the last one. Who do you love more, me or Brady? <laughs> I love you in different ways. I love you as my best friend. I love Brady as my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. She's just not trying to. Who am I going to marry? Me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. As this episode of The Weekly Colonel comes to an end, do you have any last words or anything you want to say? Anything at all. Um, I do have movie quotes. I'm a big movie quoter. My dad she and I. Actually. Yeah, so I'm gonna flip it around. And I'm gonna say some movie quotes and see if Natalie can get them. I'm a peacock. You gotta let me fly. Oh my god. I don't know. Great movie. The other guys. 
greater good, I'm your wife. I'm the greatest good you're ever gonna get. Oh, oh. Keely and Miley. No. The Incredibles. There it is. It's not <laughs> called gymnastics. Stick it. Classic. If you are a gymnast that. and have not seen that movie, you're not really a gymnast. That's all I have for this week's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.